Hello everyone. A while ago I showed you how to build this very compact minecart slime block elevator, um, which works like this. So you enter the minecart, press a button and you transport it up. If you're up, you can leave the minecart and go wherever you need to go. And uh, if you want to go back down again, you have to enter the minecart again and press the button again and you're transported down. So I noticed that this system has a few disadvantages, mainly. If another player um, wants to use the elevator and the minecart is still at the top, uh, yeah, he can't go up. Also, it's not really necessary to have a minecart at the top. You can just drop down the shaft, uh, hold on space and you land safely on the slime block. To improve on the system, I made that version over here, which is still very compact. Uh, it's still one wide. And also it's uh, yeah, as long as the uh, other version, except that one block that I couldn't get rid of. Um, but here's how it works. So you enter the minecart, still press the button, then you transport it up. And if it's at the top, you're automatically ejected out of the minecart with this activator rail. And this is how it works. If a slime block has a rail on top of it, uh, and he gets a short pulse, he can transport a rail. That only works with a sticky piston and only uh, if the block is pushed. If you try to pull it, then the rail is lost. So um, to send the slime block back to the default position, there's a second sticky piston that also gets a short pulse to send it back. Um, yeah, the advantages of the system is that it's very compact. For example, here is um, four of those elevators, which could be useful if a lot of players want to use the elevators at the same time. So that we have four minecart elevators um, next to each other, um, which is yeah, quite compact for what it does. So still, the system is quite fast. It's about seven or eight uh, blocks per second. And yeah, um, to how to build it, um, you can watch the tutorial of my first version. Um, the most most of the part is the same, um, but after the last slime block that transports the player up, the pattern differs, and yeah, I guess it's not really necessary to do a tutorial, uh, it's, uh, just one wide, so I guess you can see it from here. Um, I also made a version where it isn't even necessary to press a button, which is over here, and you already see it, it's not that compact anymore. So um, there's a string that updates a piston to yeah, detect the player. So you don't have a you don't have to push a button anymore. So just enter the minecart, then it drop down a little bit, and it transport it up. And here's the same system uh, like over there. You automatically get jacket off the minecart. Um, yeah, this was quite difficult to build, and I'm not really satisfied with the result. But yeah. It's quite nice still. So um, the problem uh, I had was the string. Um, if you would have a, a slime block directly um, under the minecart and you push up the uh, the slime block, then the string gets destroyed. So that happens. The string uh, pops. So in order to deal with that, there's a normal block, a, a normal iron block, is under the minecart and if this um, uh, piston is updated that block is pushed over here which updates this piston which in turn updates this piston and he retracts, he retracts the block then uh, another uh, piston pushes up the minecart with the slime block but the problem is if you would have the iron block here and the slime block there and would retract it then you would also grab the iron block so in order to deal with, the, with that problem, uh, we grabbed that uh, iron block with, th with that uh, piston and um, as soon as the slime block uh, gets retracted back down again, uh, and the slime block is elevated back again and then pushed with this uh, piston here. So uh, another problem is that if the minecart drops back down again, he would activate the system again. So I had to uh, use two different T flip flops here so that they don't create a loop. 
And also, um, if the player drops back down again, he would also activate the system, but it's yeah, not really a problem. Um, we just elevate the minecart again, and yeah, after a while, it would come back down again. And yeah, the upper part is still activated again, but after a while, everything is back to normal. And then you can um, yeah, enter the minecart again and use the elevator again. Um, if you're interested how to build that, um, yeah, it's just mostly it's still one wide by the way. So maybe you can compact it even if you don't make it one wide, but it just was the challenge for me. Um if you want to build it, there will be a world download. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.